Welcome to the Bat Center History. in Brockton, History. Massachusetts. History. I think it's just what to do in Brockton. So, for some context, Bat is the Brockton area transit. Brockton is a city south of Boston that has a population of around 100,000 people, and the Bat Center is its bus hub, with an MBTA commuter rail station across the street. Shall we go into the... Yes, let's, let's walk over to the... Are explore the outdoor facilities first? Yeah, right? let's explore you got the your outdoor berths. You got your ticket machines? Yes, we got some berths here. They look yeah. fine, like decent berths. Decent berths. We've got... Um, is that like a Wi-Fi router? There may be Wi-Fi here. Oh. There are Charlie card ticket machines that have a different GUI than yeah. um, the T ones, but they're the same like... Good computer Thing. science word. These are the new ones. This one's broken. This one doesn't seem to have any Charlie cards in it, but you can get a ticket. We can get a system-wide 31-day pass, and it's only $65. Whoa. Wow. What a steal. That's like $9. No, sorry. $19. It's $29 cheaper than the tea. It's actually $25 cheaper. I thought he said it was $61, but it's $65. The tea monthly pass is $90, so it's $25 cheaper. In here, there are uh, two older ticket machines, and then there are screens with like a slideshow on them. Does it I guess. work? There is no. hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Gotta it get working. sanitized. We have water fountains. And they we like have the bathrooms. Oh, they don't work. They, oh, the water fountains don't work, but there are bathrooms, like which is a nice feature. I like always the second language because it's yeah. Brockton. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. There because it's Brockton doesn't explain anything, but demographics. <laughs> and, there you go. There's a break room, I think. There's Jacqueline. There's also a dispatch in there because they have oh, trackers. There's so dispatch. They might dispatch the buses from in there. Maybe, oh, and a definitely nice a help desk. Facility. Yeah. There's artwork all over the place. Yes, a lot of artwork. Another big sign with a charger that includes cords and this wireless thing's charging. The cords, it's got like the USB, I don't know if it's USB C, which is unfortunate, but then they have a wireless charging thing that works. Like, That's cool. this is amazing. This the is cords the best are part amazing. of this. Oh, well. The cords are amazing. It's, I, you okay, can't really well. see that, but the cord is sort of broken. Some of them work. But some of them appear to work. Well, also benches, all of which are non-hostile. Yes, non-hostile benches. Convenience. And history. History. Okay. History. Won't you look at that? We've got a little coffee shop. It's not, bus lines cafe. It's not open, Whoa. but like having that in your transit facility is nice. And then there are vending machines for drinks and food. Um, Any Snyder's? Do they have Snyder's? They have Snyder's Twisted Pretzel Sticks. Commuter convenience. Oh, I can transition Oh, I missed it. Oh, wow. There's like a really funny PowerPoint transition on these. Yeah, it, it is really funny. Uh, okay, let's check out the parking garage thing. That intermodal center is what it's technically called. Oh, and commuter oh, yes. rail access. Yeah, commuter rail access. There's not so far away from the station. Commuter rail access. This is the goofiest the parking garage. This is the goofiest parking garage I've ever seen. It, it really is. It's Why like, is it two stories? It like, looks like really like weird with the arches and then it's just randomly two stories. If you're gonna make a garage, go big or go home, you know? Why two stories? <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like a one-story lot could have done. I mean, oh. I guess it is a Saturday, oh. but it doesn't look very used. Can I get my trash can rent? Yeah. Do you guys know about this? What is this? <laughs> what is this gap? Oh yeah, out here is a menu for the cafe. Okay, does everyone know the melody for the menu shot? Apologies in advance for this one. Menu shot, menu shot, now I'm looking at the menu shot. To get between the Bat Center and Brockton Station. Um, you have to cross here, but there's not like a light. There's not a stop sign, it just sort of sucks. Yeah, the yellow lights are flashing would be nice. Yellow yeah. lights are flashing. 
And then there's also a weird shelter thing there, but I'm not sure if any buses use it or if so, which ones, so yeah. Okay, so from here, there's like a sign blocking off the second floor of the garage. So like they built it, but you can't use it. Wah, so they just wasted wah. money they could have spent on improving service. Wah. So to get to the platform, the commuter rail Brockton platform, you have to walk through a grade crossing. It's really which, loud. Which is not optimal. It's really but loud. It's, it's okay. Um, and then you have stairs and a ramp up to the fully high accessible platform. And there's screens displaying the next train. So overall, pretty good station. It's your classic, like, boring old colony station. Like, it doesn't have hotel. any amenities, like but good. it does appear to have benches and trash cans. And there, cans. and you can go across the street to use the bathrooms at the bat center. You can use the bat rooms. Again, two thirty Ashmont now. It's nice that they have outdoor announcements. Okay. It's fun on the pulses because it'll be like the three o'clock pulses now boarding because that has a system where everyone just leaves oh, and it's cool. very fun. Oh, that's cool. The buses have to back out, which isn't like great for like safety or speed, but it, it seems with, okay. Uh, it's, a, it's common with a lot of like suburban like RTAs, so. though. I think it's nice for, um, it's like a space conservation thing because you can have more buses kind of slotted while still having the accessibility at the front door, but it's a little more space efficient. I think that's, it's common internationally to it. Very true. I just found a nickel on the seat in front of me. Okay. You can buy something with that, Miles. Yeah, not much. Um, inflation. Uh, the Bath Center and the Brockton Station on the commuter rail, MBTA commuter Oh, is it a combined review? It is a combined review, but I'm going to give them oh. separate stores. Okay. Um, the Bath Center, I think I'm going to give a 9 out of 10. There isn't much to complain about. Like, it's not amazing, but it's pretty nice. It has basically everything you need. Yeah, the chargey charges are great. Yeah, and then the Brockton station, like it's accessible, it has a screen, it has benches. I guess I'd give it like a seven out of 10, or like a seven out of 10, but since the bat center is there and you can go there for the bathrooms and vending machines and stuff, I think it, like if you include that it's next to the bat center, I would give it um, a nine out of 10, wow. eight out of 10, eight out of 10. Okay. Yeah. So it averaged out over the whole complex. It it's a eight point five out of ten. Okay. For the average. Good. Do you want to do an impression of my ever, or do you not watch my? Videos? I guess. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. But don't feel pressured, though. You sound like the old commuter rail voice. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, or leave a comment if you want to. Don't feel pressured, though. Bye!